We've learned so far that the red side ace is a small endangered fish in the minnow family and is the only Canadian minnow to jump out of the water to catch its food. We also learned from cat and Ontario streams that the red side dace prefers cool, clear streams with lots of shoreline vegetation. Cat is back with us today to tell us what Ontario streams is doing to help protect red side dace habitat. Ontario streams has been working on red side dace conservation for over 25 years. We have been rehabilitating local rivers and streams to increase habitat for our red side dace as well as lots of other native fishes. Today we are at a cattle farm in Vaughan. Behind us is Purpleville Creek, a tributary of the Humber River and home to red side dace. We've been working with the landowners here for a couple of years to help improve this aquatic habitat and we've seen some big changes. Over the past few years, we've planted close to a thousand native trees and shrubs along the river banks here on the farm. These plants are overhanging into the river and create habitat for the insects that red side dace love to eat. Trees and shrubs also create shade, which keeps the water cool. In addition, they filter the water before it enters the stream. We also installed fencing here to limit the spots where the cows could enter the river as each time they walked through, they were disrupting the habitat and stirring up the sediment. We have many other projects around the Greater Toronto Area to improve aquatic habitat. Our staff and volunteers clean up garbage along shorelines to help improve the aquatic sensitive habitat. We also install erosion control structures in our streams. Basically, we place trees, such as donated live Christmas trees, along the river banks to create a spot for sediment to settle and also create fish nursery habitat. We work with many partners, including the City of Brampton, City of Richmond Hill, City of Markham, and the Regional Municipality of York to lead stewardship events for their residents. We also lead events to connect community members and corporate teams with their local environment and habitat restoration. If you are interested in learning more about these events, check out our website, ontariostreams.on.ca. Mary-Kate will highlight how we are all working together to raise awareness about the red side dace and protect the fish and their habitats. The Toronto Zoo has been involved in red side dace protection and recovery for over 25 years. The zoo is a member of the red side dace implementation team, which is a group that consists of many different partners, including Ontario Streams, Fisheries and Oceans Canada, the Ministry of the Environment, Conservation and Parks, conservation authorities, municipal agencies, and academic institutions, all working together to protect the red side dace and its habitat from further declines. The Toronto Zoo's Great Lakes program raises awareness about the red side dace by interacting with thousands of students and members of the public each year through in-class and community outreach. The Great Lakes program also produces lots of resources about the red side dace, including brochures, the red side dash video game, activities, the red side dace activity book, and most recently, this video series. We also highlight current red side dace research through our Great Lakes program social media channels. You can help protect the red side dace too, and that will be the topic of our next and final video. 